In this short video, you will know exactly how to set up the Super API inside the NA10. So you can use it to browse through the internet and integrate that into your workflow. So let's open up our HTTP request node. And here we're going to choose post as the method. And for the URL, you will copy this URL and paste that right in here. And for the Super API, this is the dashboard that you're going to have access to. So once you have created an account and you're going to get about 2,500 credits and each search will cost one credit. So you have plenty of credits to experiment with before you have to pay. And for the authentication, we are using generic. For auth type, we will use custom auth. For custom auth, we will use custom auth account. And right here, you will leave the sent query parameters untoggled, and you will toggle send headers. And you will use the specify headers, and you're going to use fields below. And in the name field, you will type in this exactly, x dash api dash key. Actually, I'm going to leave all of those information in the description below so you can copy and paste. And right here where it says value, this is where you will paste in the API key. So let's go to our um, super API. And then on the left hand side, click on API key. And here is your key. Hit copy, come back to NA10 and paste that right in here. And down on the bottom, you will toggle send body. And then for the body content type, you will select the JSON. And for specify body, you will use using JSON. And in the JSON field, you will paste in this particular expression. What this is doing is sending the search query to the search engine based on the keyword. So here we have parentheses, Q, parentheses, colon, and whatever come after that is the search term. For this example, we have uh, a search term UPC for a particular product so that it's going to go online to search the UPC code for whatever product that we have in here. So for this example, we are searching the UPC code for a particular product from our previous node. All we have to do is drag the schema handlebar from the previous node down in here, all right? So it's basically saying to uh, search for UPC for this Traeger Pro 575 pellet grill. And then if we test this node right here, and then we're gonna go back to our uh, Super API, and we can go to logs, and you will see that this query was fired, and it cost one credit. So one thing I forgot to mention is that inside the JSON field, you don't want to add in a additional quotation mark because that could conflict with the, uh, the syntax. So if you are searching for any products or anything that involves, like let's say a length unit, for example, interest, that additional quote, uh, quotation mark can cause issues inside of this uh, expression. So make sure that you clean up the data before you uh, put them through this workflow. So a quick recap, when you run this node, it's going to go on Google search engine and output 10 organic search results. And on the bottom, it also gives you uh, people also ask and related searches. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to watch this playlist.